I did, Boomer. Mm -hmm. Try to think of one now. Well, we could go into business and be partners. Yeah, we could. But what kind of business? Well, we could... We could make other kids pay a nickel to watch Lassie do some of her tricks. No. Lassie's no show-off. to show off. What's she doing now? Lassie! Lassie, what are you doing? <laughs> Must be fleas. Lassie never gets fleas. Then it's ticks. Mike's full of them this time of year. <laughs> Lassie's never acted like this before. It must be something worse. Let's find out. I'll start up here, and you start down there. And we'll meet in the middle. Not so fast. You'll miss it. something. I knew Lassie wasn't showing off. She was in trouble. It's a ladybug. Ladybugs are lucky bugs. Maybe we're gonna be lucky. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. The house is on fire and your children are gone. All except one. Can't wish out loud if we want our wish to come true. And we gotta make a wish before it flies away if we want to be lucky. Wonder why it doesn't fly away. Hey, maybe it's dead. No, it's not dead. It's moving. There's a bunch here. I bet Lassie will be glad I'm getting them off. Three, four, five, six. Gee, there's about 12 here. Eight, nine, ten. What are you doing that for? Soon nobody will step on them. We're both wishing the same thing. Well, if you're wishing we're gonna be partners, uh-oh. I just can't get it. Need any help, Ruth? No, thanks. I'll be through in a jiffy. Good. Well, it sure looks like somebody needs some help. I'm all mixed up. I knew the adding ones, but I can't get this takeaway one. Will you help me, Uncle Petrie? Well, now, uh... If you was to ask me how to trap a wild bear, I could tell you, but, uh... Maybe you better ask your ma. She's the one that does the figuring around here. All right. Which is the one that's giving you trouble? Well, now, let me see. 
I just might learn something myself. <laughs> uh, uh... Say anything in there about how to get rid of those aphid pests on our apple trees? The usual suggestions. John Garrett says we're in for a real siege. Worst this county's seen in 50 years. And what's he doing about it? And he won't say. When it comes to giving out useful information, <laughs> John's close as a clam. Well, I know what I'm going to do to save our apple trees. There now. That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> I know how to do it now. Gee, you're smart, Mom. <laughs> well, thank you. Being a scientific farmer, I reckon you'll hire one of those newfangled crop dusting contraptions, huh? You reckon wrong. They're too expensive. I'm using ladybugs. Well, I'll be gall darn. You know something? Ladybugs is what I would have used. <laughs> Gee, Dad, how can ladybugs save your apple trees? By eating up the aphids that are eating up the apple trees. Ladybugs live on aphids. They'd rather eat aphids than, uh, than ice cream and cake. They would? Save your crops nature's way. Use ladybug pest control on aphids. Write today for your order, $10 a gallon prepaid Bill Newton, Constant, California. You mean people sell ladybugs? They certainly do. Make a mighty good living at it, too. Ten dollars a gallon for a bunch of little old ladybugs? Hear that, Lassie? Well, considering how many ladybugs there are to a gallon... How many? Let me see. Uh, Seventy-five hundred to a quart. Shouldn't Timmy figure that out, counting it as part of his homework? We haven't come to quarts and gallons yet. Well, uh, since you're the mathematician of the family, Ruth, how many? Well, um, well there are four quarts in a gallon, and uh, four times 7,500 is uh, 30,000. And that should be more than enough to protect our apple orchard. 30,000? How many ladybugs would it take to save one apple tree, Dad? Well, if they're all lady ladybugs, which are larger than gentleman ladybugs, and they all lay eggs, and the eggs all hatch, about a dozen, I'd say. Yes, with all those babies, 12 would do it. Well, don't count your ladybugs before they're hatched. It's Timmy's bedtime. Come on, off to bed with you now. Good night. You too, Lassie. Night, Dad. Night, Uncle Petrie. Good night, boy. Good night, dear. Good night, son. Night, everybody. Thirty thousand ladybugs in a gallon. Gee whiz. Mom, Dad, and Uncle Petrie, and Lassie, and all the ladybugs, and keep them safe so they can save Dad's apple trees. Amen. Suppose they'd wake up like all the other animals? What's the matter, Lassie? They can't hurt you as long as they're on the bench.
look awful big to me. Can you tell if they're lady, ladybugs? Dad says they're the biggest. Take a look, Lassie. What's he doing up so early? What's he doing up so early? Ladybugs? Where'd you find them? Well, I didn't exactly. Lassie sort of picked them up. That boomer and I could find more in the woods. And if we found a gallon of them, you could pay us ten dollars instead of sending it to those folks in California. We want to go into the business. Breakfast is ready, and school won't keep. What's the mysterious confab about? Timmy wants to go into the ladybug business. Oh, well, that's quite an undertaking. You betcha. You gotta know when and where and how. That is, unless you can find them while they're still hibernating. Hiber... What's hibernating? Oh, hibernating means sleeping through the winter, like bears do. Only difference is ladybugs sleep together. Thousands of them in one spot. That's what these ladybugs are doing. That's why they were so quiet and didn't fly away, isn't it? I understand it takes several weeks of warm weather to thaw them out and make them active enough to fly again. Isn't that so, Paul? Boomer and I better get started right after school. Well, wouldn't harm none to let him try, Paul. It's been a cool spring, and there's bound to be thousands of ladybugs still hibernating under rocks and leaves and hollow tree stumps hereabouts. Well, who'll uh, clean them off the leaves? Takes a lot of patience, Timmy. Well, I'm willing to volunteer. Please, please let us, Dad. You never give up, do you? All right, since you're so determined. Good. Well, now that's settled. Would you three gentlemen please do me the honor of joining me at breakfast? And even businessmen don't go to school in their bathrobes. I'll get just real fast, Mom. I've got to set a deadline, though. You've got to deliver the goods by Monday. Otherwise, I've got to send my order to those folks in California. No, you won't, Dad. <laughs> I wish it was afternoon already, so Boomer and I could start our business. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, Timmy. Bye, boy. Bye. Well, work to be done. More coffee? Mm -hmm. You don't really expect him to come back with 30,000 ladybugs now, do you? Confidentially, whether they find the ladybugs or not doesn't matter. What's gratifying is Timmy's reason for wanting to do it. Well, that's what puzzles me. Why is he so anxious? Because he's beginning to grow up. He wants to go into business for himself. What do you think of your independent son? Well, I'm very proud of him. <laughs> Ouch! That hurts! Why does it have to be so tight? Well, so they won't tickle you to pieces when you start scooping them into these bags. How will we know when we have a gallon? Oh, no need to worry about that. If you find them, just keep on scooping and your fortune's made. We almost forgot to tie up Lassie. Oh, dogs don't like to be bound up, do they, Lassie? <laughs> well, there you are. Good luck and good hunting. It's up to you, Lassie, to help us start our business. <laughs> be around here, because Uncle Petrie said they sleep under rocks and stumps. And there are no rocks or stumps around here.
She remembers where they are. Is this where you found them, girl? <laughs> you know where we are, Boomer? Right in the middle of Dad's North Field. We just came from here. Thought you said Lassie's the best tracking dog in the world. She is. Then why is she tracking in circles? I don't know. Looks like she doesn't want to find the ladybugs for us. <laughs> well, if Lassie doesn't want to find those ladybugs, she must have a good reason. But I still think she's the smartest dog in the world. You're right, she is. Lassie went in that direction, didn't she? Well then, since people should be smarter than dogs, and we're people, why shouldn't we go back where we started? You mean, since Lassie's so smart, she was leading us away from the ladybugs? Sure she was. Come on, Lassie. <laughs> So, didn't I? Tree stump where they got the ladybugs was on my side of the property line. No, no, no. No sense getting all riled up, Neary Garrett. They're telling me did the fence zig or did it zag or who should have mended it. Being strictly a backwoodsman, I never did get the straight of thine or mine or who's right away. So I'm just gonna keep on cleaning these pretty little bugs for who's ever orchard. So Paul tells me where to put them. I'm telling you. Those bugs belong in my orchard. You thought you could get away with it just because that stump where I put them stands in property that we're disputing. Now, look here, John. What's this all about? Now, let's start from the beginning. Well, whether you did or whether you didn't, it's the same difference. Would I have spent all that money shipping ladybugs from California just so I could start next year's breeding badge for you? No, I don't think you would. You thought she'd get away with it. Just because that stump where I put them stands on property, we're disputing. Gosh, Lassie, I didn't know that was Mr. Garrett's field. I can't let Dad take the blame for something I did, can I? If Dad gives back those ladybugs, Dad's apple trees won't be saved. You really want to help, don't you? Even if I didn't know they belonged to Mr. Garrett, we still have to replace those ladybugs, don't we, Lassie? You're not going to back out on me again, are you? This is your last chance. Are you coming with me, or do I have to go alone?
threatening you like that, going off in a huff. Stubborn, ornery old fool. Yeah, but the joke's on him. John doesn't know that ladybugs like to try out their wings first before settling down to eat. So if he'd put them in his apple trees tomorrow, as he said he was going to do, most of them would have flown away. Maybe to our orchard, maybe elsewhere. <laughs> yeah. Timmy did him a favor by bringing the ladybugs over here. Only John didn't give me a chance to tell him. I better check the irrigation. Where's Timmy? I don't know. The lassie came through here a few minutes ago. Uh, probably on some secret service mission. Timmy's got cooked up. let me down. Now everybody's apple trees are saved. And so, when I took all those ladybugs to John Garrett, and he saw he had more than he'd bought in the beginning, <laughs> what'd he say? He said next year he's going to buy all his ladybugs from Timmy. <laughs> We're not in the ladybug business anymore. <laughs> 